What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. So what we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna be talking about body types. Specifically, what is the most preferred body type by women on men? So if you watch my channel, you know that I'm not a huge looks guy, meaning that I don't focus on like attracting women just through your appearance. I focus on other things like how well you talk to them, how you treat them, how confident you are, how you uh, plan your lifestyle, all of those kinds of things. But having said that, you know, your look does matter. How much does it matter? I don't think it's the most important thing, but it does help. Okay, so what is the preferred body type by women? We're gonna talk about three things. We're gonna talk about what type of body women do not prefer, <laughs> and then we're gonna talk also about the body that they do prefer. And lastly, and most importantly, how can you get this body? Is this achievable for the average guy to get? Is this reasonable if you're watching this video can you get this, all right? So I focus on a lot of things that we can change, that we have control over on this channel. I will touch on the things that are outside of our control, but for me, I'm a guy who's here to empower you, here to make your life better, and I'm not here to give you some story about how uh, it's not gonna be achievable because that wouldn't be true anyway. So uh, we're gonna talk about the different body types that women do not prefer. The number one body that men think women want is actually not the most preferred, and that's the bodybuilder body. You know, a lot of men think that women are just looking for this giant muscle-bound, guy who's huge when in actuality they're looking for a guy who's maybe more around a swimmer's body. That's usually what women prefer a little bit more if you ask them in, in the studies and that sort of stuff. However, how thin and slim and cut should they be? Well, the other body that men think that women prefer is like the really cut guy. You know, he's just shredded. You know, you can see every individual little muscle. Um, Actually, women are not so into that body. Maybe some might be into it. Obviously, there's different preferences. Like some, like I'm sure if you went to the Jersey Shore, women would be super into a guy who was like all jacked and gorilla-like, <laughs> okay? Uh, but we're talking about averages and uh, more often than not, uh, these two body types were not the most preferred uh, by women because you know I would know I'm, I'm actually a really slim, like cut guy myself. <laughs> and That's not the most preferred uh, body that women are looking for. What they are, preferring is they are preferring a guy who's in a little bit of shape, okay? Who's in a little bit of shape, but he doesn't look like, you know, your gorilla or giant, huge, jacked uh, bodybuilder kind of guy. He's in a little bit of shape, and you know, he might not, uh, you might not be able to say each individual like little ab of his or each individual vein that he has, um, but he looks like he can do stuff, especially like broad shoulders as well. Uh, women tend to be into that sort of, at least broader than hers. So what they wanna see is they wanna see a little bit of muscle because part of being a man is that uh, we tend to be a little bit more muscular than the women that we're, that we're dating. Um, well, at least we have more muscle mass on, on the upper body. So sometimes they look for that sort of stuff, but also too, they don't just look at your upper body, they're also gonna look at your ass. Now. What kind of body is this? This actually falls under the category, believe it or not, of not just being a guy who's a, a little bit fit, but the dad bod that's been going around. You've been seeing this all over news, Hollywood, Leonardo DiCaprio's got a dad bod. Uh, why are women into the dad bod? Women are into the dad bod because it looks like they can do some work. It looks like, you know, they, maybe they work with their hands or, you know, they're a little bit physically fit, but they also like to have a good time or a beer every now and then. So to talk about how you guys can get this ideal body by showing a little bit of fitness, but also looking like you can relax, I have my good friend here, Linnell. Linnell is a guy who has trained Olympians, he's trained your average folk, he's been all around the block, he's seen all different body types and trained all different body types, so he's gonna tell you how you can make this achievable for yourself. All right, Linnell, whoa, there you are. <laughs> Just popped up right on camera. <laughs> cool, Linnell, why don't you tell us a little bit about how, um, well, a little bit about the dad bod, what's so appealing about the dad bod, and is this achievable for the average guy? This is absolutely achievable for the average guy. I mean, I've worked with a lot of people, um, and we're not talking just Olympians. We're talking regular Joes and Janes out there who are looking to just get them get themselves together. And most people think that they need to come in and have a six pack and ripped and musculature, and women don't really care about that because it actually makes them feel more insecure. So they feel like, wow, I can't do this, and why would this guy want me because I've got a little bit of weight on me. And in fact, having a little bit of pudge on you is actually a good thing. You still want to look like you work out, but yeah. you don't want to look like, uh, you know, fat or on the opposite end, too, too skinny. So you want to have a little bit of weight to you, uh, look manly in, in, a, in a sense. And there's a lot of different things that people can do to change their body for the better mm -hmm. and actually be more attractive. 
Yeah, um, I think what I've heard women say about like guys with you know the the very defined six pack or like you know the buff bodybuilders is like they're like well it's kind of interesting to look at or it's nice to look at but when they actually think about being with that person it's not the most appealing and so that's why guys like Leonardo DiCaprio even as he's gotten older like women still find him like super appealing you know you take the fame outside of it but. Um, you know, you will still want to have like a little bit of muscle to yourself. Are there any individual like parts of the body that men should focus on and what are those parts? Yeah, absolutely. Um, when it comes to developing a body, to actually changing your body, you really want to focus on the, 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 the shoulder area of your body and then actually your hips. Uh, those two areas are where women's eyes actually go and I've talked to a lot of women I've trained a lot of women um, and usually I always ask them you know what what is it that attracts uh, what is it attractive to you about a man and usually they'll, they'll look at the shoulders they want nice broad shoulders and they want you know kind of a nice butt just the way us men we look at the butt um, women do the same thing to us so we have to put in some work with our butt and, and do it. So when it comes to the upper body, a lot of men come in and they jump straight into bench press. That's the first thing I see yeah. whenever, whenever I go to the gym. And actually, it's the opposite. When you come into the gym, you actually wanna work your back. By working your back and getting more of a V cut to your, to your frame, you'll actually become way more attractive. Having nice broad shoulders is really attractive to a woman. Mm -hmm. So doing more rows, doing more pull-ups, um, actually doing a little bit of chest, but most men that do enough chest where they need to start focusing on their back. Doing some more shoulder work. Um, if you start doing those exercises, you'll start to develop a better frame and start to look more, more, more defined is what I, what I want to say. Yeah, and so you mentioned that they should be doing these exercises. How often do they gotta work out? Is oh. this like really hard or is this like an oh easy thing for them to do? I think most people overwork. I, I think they come into the gym way too much. I think they're overtrained. I think they, they push their body too much. Most of the time I recommend people come into the gym twice a week. That's about what you need to do. And for most people, that's about the time that they need to recover. Everyone thinks that in order to get bigger muscles, they need to work out more. And I'm actually on the opposite end where you need to work out less. You need recovery. You need to be able to let your muscles uh, break down during the workout and then take as long as you need to to recover. If you don't come back into the gym a little bit stronger, you haven't recovered. You need to take, take a rest. And quite frankly, most people can use that to go do something else, which is way better than trying to kill yourself in the gym, getting a body that women don't really care for and not being as attractive as you want to be. Gotcha. So it sounds like you can get the body that women ideally want for not working out very much a day, or sorry, not working out very much a week. What is this workout plan? What is this? Oh man, so uh, we've actually developed a, a program called Oakham's Fitness, where yeah. it's focused on getting the maximum results that you can get with the minimal amount of effort. Um, so we're talking about two 15 minute workouts a week, and we're talking about dialing in the hard part of getting a body that you want, which is nutrition. And we actually make it pretty easy because we actually figure out what foods your body needs. So once you figure out what foods your body really, really needs, and you start eating more of those foods, your body just transforms. You don't have to get on a diet where you're eating salads and greens and all this other foo-foo stuff. You can actually eat the food that your body actually loves. So I have a client who regularly eats chocolate. Like his body loves chocolate. And I have another client who, who she, loves, she loves fish. And you know, your body will tell you exactly what you want and we kind of put that into the program so you can actually start changing your body with the foods that work for you. Cool, where can people get access to this program? Oh my goodness. So, uh, you can get access by going to oakumsfitness.com backslash Lloyd. And basically we have a free masterclass where we actually show you exactly how to change your body. Most people are making three big mistakes when it comes to changing their body. And if they follow those three things and actually take that out of their routine, they'll actually transform so much faster. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool. Well, check that out. Some people pronounce it Occam's, or usually Occam's. Uh, Occam's. <laughs> you can do Occam's, Occam's. Uh, but basically, I, I pronounce it as Occam's, Occam's Fitness. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's, it's really changed a lot of people. You'll see a lot of testimonials on there of people who've changed their body with very minimal work. And you know, I, I love it. Cool. Cool. Thanks so much for uh, coming on here, Lenox. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, this is something that I'll talk about a little bit more in the future. Probably not that much. We're going to focus generally on like just raw dating. Um, 
but it's always nice, like I said, to have a body that makes you feel more confident that women ideally prefer. Um, and if you can get it without doing that much work a week, why not? Cool, right? Thanks guys. Good luck out there.